Okay, so yesterday we, we really talked about this, so let's go back and review this. Uh, it's between zero to three. So zero to three, this is the area here, and this above x-axis, and this correct orientation. The orientation we talk about from low number to high number. Always on the bottom, zero to three, not three to zero. In this case, if anything above x-axis, it's gonna be positive, nine over two. Does that make sense? That makes sense, right? Uh, between 9 to 3 to 0, because if the orientation is correct, the graph is below x-axis, so therefore the integral is going to be 9 to 9 over 2. Okay? But what happens if you flip this 0 and 9 to 3? Now, the lower number, uh, the higher number is actually on the bottom and 9 to 3 here. So basically you switch this to become positive, 9 over 2. You switch the sign. Every time you change the boundary, you switch the sign of the result. Um, between 9 to 3 to 1, this Xiang asked the question yesterday, it was 9 to 3 to 1, so it's integrate, if you integrate from 9 to 3 to 0, because we always read from left to right, so 9 to 3 to 0 is going to give me 9 to 9 over 2, and if you integrate from 0 to 1, it's going to give you positive. So that positive still is, will start offset the negative, but it's not enough to overcome because it, the positive area is only this small right here. It's not enough to outweigh the red area. So it's a negative 4. Now what is R function? R function is basically, this is a perfect example of R function. Another thing you want to think about when you see on the standardized test what does R function means means that you have each coordinate that you pick, right? So for example, I pick here is 3 and 3. The R function is going to have a opposite coordinates always. So in this case, they have opposite corner at every single point. So a perfect example of that is x, x to the third, or sine to the x. Sine to the x is actually started like this. It was like this. But this area and this area will be offset each other because positive and negative. So if you went from negative a to positive a of f of x, that is r function, that's always equal to zero because both area is exactly opposite to each other. Well, area is going to be exactly the same, but the integral is going to be exactly opposite, and they will cancel each other out, kind of yin and yang. They kind of just cancel each other out. Does that make sense for r functions? Okay. Now, sometimes you get even function. An even function like a x squared graph, x to the fourth graph, cosine of x graph, absolute value of x graph. Those are good example that if you integral from negative a to positive a, like this, it's always two times from zero to a because if I just recall my half side of my face, if I double it, I should get my full face, right? It's like maybe symmetric, but the far area should be exactly the same. So if it's an even function, then this be true. So that's pretty much um, all the thing that we have talked about yesterday and today. Um, but we're gonna talk about some situation. Any question before I move on? Questions? Now, um, um, this is an example of uh, absolute value. So if I have absolute value graph and integration between zero to three, it's gonna be nine over two. Um, so if I went from negative three to positive three, so let's just say if I have negative three to positive three, then I should get double of the nine over two, which is 18 over two. And nine. So that is the idea of 
in the cross. So uh, we're going to talk about a different situations here. So this is a situation I want to talk about today in specific. Um, Here we got a graph of f of x. This is an f of x graph. Now I'll just tell you that this is all quarter curve. This is a quarter curve, quarter circle curve, but except the radius is this is two, this is three. What will be integration between negative three to negative seven of f of x dx? So you work it out and talk to each other and then we'll talk over. What do you guys think? What'd you guys get? Um, I got like a negative one. You got negative one? That sounds about right. Um, so. <laughs> it didn't matter what the answer is. It's just all you gotta do is say, let's go. And then that means you got the right answer. <laughs> the other day I was playing basketball with Zach. And uh, the kid was funny. He didn't know how to play basketball at all. And uh, and uh, he just he just shoot a ball and he just say Kobe. And like I hate when people when they do that. It was like you shoot a ball, you say Kobe. It doesn't mean it's gonna go in. <laughs> you had to be able to go in, and you know that's going in. And you say Kobe, then you don't embarrass yourself. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's kind of funny. But huh? Zach uh, Winkle Tucker, Winkle. Oh, Winkle yeah, Winkle Cutter. <laughs> it's like such a weird last name. <laughs> so hard to pronounce. Um, so yeah, uh, it, if you integrate between uh, negative seven to negative five of f of x, that's just gonna give me negative two because it's below the area. Between negative five to negative three of f of x, that's just equal to a positive three. But integrate between seven to negative seven to negative three is going to be one. But the problem is the the boundary is switch, right? This alter is not negative. It's not negative seven to negative three, so it's going to be a negative one, and that is the final answer. Does that make sense? Let's go. Let's see. The now is it? Is it okay? It's like a that's not like an internet mean or something. Let's go. Yeah. I don't think so. It's like this year. I don't think last year. Has was, uh, <laughs> really? Not as often. Okay, let's do B. B is kind of interesting. It has a quarter curve, but uh, I hate when my phone is out of battery.
No, he's right. It's not one half of the circle. What you get? I got pi? No. Yeah, that's good. That, 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 that doesn't seem right. Nope. <laughs> that does not seem right. <laughs> yeah, okay. Anybody have suggestions? Two plus pi? No. Six minus pi? What? Six minus pi? Wait, Chubra, what did Chubra say? Same thing. He said at the same time. Oh, okay. Same answer. Vietnamese people. Yeah, Vietnamese people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that answer is six minus pi. How'd you get six minus pi, though? Oh, that's a very good perspective. So what she did is she take it this, and she take it out this part. So it's actually it's it's it, you're not finding the circle. You're finding the 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 square that take away the quarter circle. Okay, so so a lot of time like I know in geometry I I love to give those questions, but usually it's not on standardized tests. Is it's like off direction questions. It's like okay, I want you to find the area of the shader region. Now the way to find the area of shader region on this type of question is actually not look at the shader region. It's is misdirections. So when they shade something, it doesn't mean you're always looking at the shader region. In this case, you actually look the thing that sh that's not shaded. You actually, you look at this thing right here. Why? If you take a square, take away the quarter circle, you find the white piece. And, and if you take a square, take away two white pieces, you got an area of the shaded region. Does that make sense? So it's a misdirection. So a lot of time that you had to think about, okay, what is the question really asked me? And uh, that's how you think about it. So this one is, yes, this one is um, pi. Um, 6 minus pi. Okay. How about between negative 1 to 1? This one is somewhat easy. The next one is a little bit more difficult. C is very easy. You should be able to answer this within a couple seconds. Is zero? zero is correct. So... Yeah, and don't tell me negative zero. <laughs> yeah, I know you're thinking of it. <laughs> um, yeah, so in this case, it's zero. It, so it, because the area is still going to offset, it didn't matter which orientation I did it. It's half and negative one half. So they're going to offset, it didn't matter which way. The last one's a little bit more difficult. Uh, it's between 2 to 5 of f of x plus 2x dx. Now the last time we have a plus two, but this time I have plus two x. So how would I do this one? Yeah, that's fine. So this question is a little bit more complex.
what you guys got. What'd you guys get? What? <laughs> two X. Uh, well, two is going to be a vertical translation, but two X is uh, a little bit more difficult. So, again, you still break this into two pieces. You should get forty-five or two. So between two to five of f of x, right? And I'm going to plus between 2x dx between 2 to 5. Now, I didn't teach you how to take integral of this, but we still can figure out things geometrically. So in this case, 2 to 5 is going to be 3 over 2. Uh, plus, well, what's area? So the area I just kind of think about is 2x, right? Um, so if I have something like this, well, that means I have 0 and 2x, which is the slope of 2. Does that make sense? Now, can I go in from 2 to 5? Can I go in from 2 to 5? Which is from here to here? Which is, that's a trapezoid, right? Right? Or you can do it in terms of rectangle and and such. So this is a four, and this is a ten, I believe. So and uh, so this is a trapezoid with two base. So and this is three. So it'd be average of two base. So it'd be ten plus four over two times three. So it'd be three over two plus. Now this one is going to be 7, so it'll be 21. 14. 14 times 3 is what? 42 over 2? So that's roughly 45 over 2. Does this make sense? Because 2x is just basically y go to 2x. Okay. Also remember, um, I can ask you another type of question. So I can ask you one more type of question, which is what's integration of um, f of x absolute value, right? From, let's just say from two to, um, this is a five and this is nine. So it'll be two to nine. What does the absolute value do? Well, what does the absolute value do to the graph? It makes it all positive. It makes all the positive. So what happened with the graph? It would be like this, right? And like this, right? Does that make sense? You make the bottom becomes positive. So now when you integrate those, it's much easier to think about that situation. So can I just say, well, I'm going to say is this part here and also this part and also this part. So let's do the first part. It would be 3 over 2. That's the first part here, right? Does that make sense so far? And then plus 1 half. 
because you flip upwards, so it become positive. Otherwise, it would have been negative. And plus three, because this part, this is three units. Because if you flip, flip upward, it's going to be three units. And plus three times three pi over four. So that is equal to two plus three, which is five. Five plus nine pi over four, and that will be my final answer. But this time is positive because you flip all the graph negative upwards. And that's the way you are to think. Am I going too fast? So if you do the absolute value, then it doesn't matter if it's above or below the x-axis. It just matters the area. Y yes, because the below the axis, you flip upwards. Okay. Okay. It doesn't matter. It just, it just you flip the graph upwards. And so you just have to account for all the area between the graph and the curve. It didn't matter because there's no negative in the situations. There's no negative evaluations. Understand? So those are the things that you should pay attention to. Now to answer some of you guys' question yesterday, that just say this part, we get 42 over two, which is 21, right? So, how do I think about things? Well, this is called a fundamental theorem of fundamental theorem of calculus, which is very, very important. Fundamental theorem of calculus. So integration of f of x dx between a and b is equal to big F of x between b and a and is equal to f of b minus f of a. So what does this mean? I'm going to teach you how to do not only geometrically, also arithmetically. So let's just say between 2 to 5, we know the answer is, is 21. So we say 2x dx. Well, that just means x squared over 2 times 2 between 5 and 2. Does that make sense? I integrate the 2x. So it will be 2x squared over 2. So that's equal to x squared over 5 and 2. So that means you had to plug in the bound, subtract each other. So it be 5. 5 squared minus 2 squared, which is equal to 21. So that's how you do it algebraically. And 21 is something that you can figure out right away. That's why if I switch the boundary, right? Instead of 2 to 5, I switch to 5 to 2. What will happen? The subtraction will be the other way. Does that make sense? It will be 4 minus 25, it will get be negative 21. So that's how you get negative integrals. Because the order have switched. If you switch the bigger number on the bottom and the small number on the top, you're going to do f of a small number, subtract f of the big number, so you actually reverse that. So that's how you get negative integrals or negative integral values after evaluation. Am I confusing you guys? That's it. So today we teach you how to do a definite integral with using fundamental theorem of calculus. That's all you need to know. Is that hard? Yes? Not what? Not okay. What time we got here? Twenty eight?
What? Okay. So you guys can try it arithmetically. So that just says um, 3x minus 2 uh, between 1 to 3 dx. And you can check the decimal. The nice thing is you can check the decimals. Now, when I take an integral here, guys, I want you to pay attention. After I take an integral, right, I'm going to get this. I draw a straight line. That means I, I did an integral. This straight line, that means I had to plug in 5 and 2, and I have to subtract each other. What's the integral of 3x? Three, 3x squared over 2. Minus 2x between 3 and 1. Does that make sense? Then that's just plug in. So it'll be 3 over 2 times 3 squared minus 2 times 3 is 6. And it's a minus 1. So it'll be 3 over 2 minus 2. Now that's equal to 3 times squared is 27 over 2, minus 6, minus 3 over 2, sorry, minus 3 over 2, minus 2, like this. Now what I do is I actually do the shortcut. I do this, subtract this. So that's equal to 25, 24 over 2, which is 12. Does that make sense? Because I take this subtract this because they have the same denominator and then negative 6 plus 2 so it'll be negative 4 so its answer is 8 but my way is faster if I look at the same denominator and I don't have to do extra work I just compare the same denominator I don't need to worry about combining the same denominator does that make sense or no? And you can check on Desmo, see if it's right. But today, uh, tomorrow we're going to go do all that. Look at all the old tests. Okay. She's so abusive. I know. She's little, but she can't be abusive. Did you see me when I fight my brother? When you what? When I fight my brother. You have brother? Yeah. His older brother or younger brother? Younger. The kid that like was with me that during that one day at tutoring. I don't remember. The dude that you like boyfriend for some reason. Boyfriend? Oh yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't know.
Why are you like always doing something? Like, it's like, what's that dude doing? It's just some different gadget, some different tool. <laughs> Yesterday it was a switch, now it's a ratchet set. It's like. Bro, what are you saying a ratchet set? These are screwdrivers. What oh, they're screwdrivers? Wait, wait. What? Is it a screwdriver set? Oh, oh yeah. Ah, 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 how else am I gonna oh. take apart stuff at school? You're right, that's a hard screw. That is a screw set. That's not me. Are you... What? Are you taking part of school stuff? Nah, it's fine. I'm putting it back together. <laughs> You're gonna bring it. No, I'm not. <laughs> it's literally just Is it a yay day today? It's yeah. a Thursday. Thursday? Thursday. Oh, that's Friday in my heart. Every day is Friday. Every, yeah, every day is Friday if you have the right mentality. Except if we have a Mr. Yay test. Then it's a, uh... No yay. Mr. Yay, on the last day of school before Christmas break, are you actually going to let us go to the basketball court and play basketball? Probably can, because probably not many people here. I will hoop up on everybody in this room, no question about it. No, but I will dunk on you. I can that is on not true, Luca. That is I not literally true. I've literally played so much basketball, you have no idea. You know what? Back in the day? I have like 10 years of basketball. Back in the day? I'm not even joking. I, 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 took a picture. I literally used to practice every day. Back in the day, I took a picture with Shaq, which makes me better. Okay, that's just because you're rich. What does that have to do with me? Honestly, that's true. I, I met him at an Apple store. I, I have a yeah, photo. Yeah, I have a photo of Apple too. stores. Oh. You, you know, well, I was at Burger Buy and I was like, I was buying a Little bit. He has literally every Apple product you could possibly buy. And I'm poor. <laughs> See? So even more people. <laughs> you know, one time I. Yeah, we're gonna make you rich. I went to a Girl Scout yeah, cookie we'll stand. I went to go buy some Thin Mints, and then Shaq walked in front of me and bought it. Playing basketball? Stand. And so I didn't even get a Thin Mint. Are you playing basketball? No, it's like this. Yeah. Robert told me. Robert told me. Oh, oh, seven oh, periods playing. Does that mean we get to play? Oh, after school. After what? After school. Oh, after oh. school. Oh, no tutoring today. Instead, of impromptu ball. Wait. Session. Okay. So, conditioning's at 245, so if I go straight here, I might be able to, we might be able to run up some threes. I can't stay up well, to the I gotta get my sister. Hi. Why are you obsessed with Bucky's? Yeah, I like Bucky's. I've never been to a Bucky's. They're cool. Once you go to it once and you're a super fan for life. That's just kind of how it works. They're just cool. They're like, they're like Walmarts, but gas stations, you know? Like in the middle of nowhere. Like there's like no set location. Why are you looking at my stash? <laughs> what if Mr. Jacobs is a diabetic shock and needs one of those? You can't take that. This is this is all you still in your shit. What's the phrase? It's like the ten dollar one from us. Yeah, this is all Mr. Craig's stuff. He just left it. But the food is I got Willie. Did you just put Mr. Craig? I know, bro. And then I, <laughs> the first game, the first game, that was just a bad play. But you took the second game, you just lost. Yeah, bro. When you, when you, when you placed that log, I was like, oh, okay. I know. I was like, why did I just log it? It's a log bit. Boundary log bit.